Hey guys, The Challenger, and today we are building the Eerie Triplex, or Triplex, I've heard it pronounced both ways, but basically the Eerie Triplex is a steam locomotive with uh, three sets of eight wheels, as you can see from the build. And yeah, so this was requested by one of my viewers, and I know a lot of you were also requesting the Daylight, but or the 4449, but I was going to build that. But it's it's over there and it looks really really bad so that's just gonna have to wait so let's go ahead and get started with this build all right so you're gonna have to start off with the with some stone brick stairs and then you're gonna place them like this curve them around the edges and then place more just upside down like that and then you're gonna get a uh, stone brick place it like that some brick slab, and this place like that. So that's your uh, snowplow or cow catcher, as some people call it. Now we're going to place a piston as a coupler, and then once we place down the wheel, we can power that to make it extend. Alright, now we're done with that. So let's go ahead and start working on the boiler. And remember, you can always pause this if you need, to, if you need me to slow down or anything. So for this triplex, I'm going to be building the version of it where it's uh, in like blue. It's kind of a blue color. I know it's also in black and all those, or yeah, in black. But this um, this one that I'm building is going to be in blue. So just keep in mind. If you want to build it in black, then uh, that's your choice. Okay. So you're just going to want to place a cylinder like this, 3x3, like three three, um, and 4 blocks long, that's what, that's, uh, what you want to do, and if you want to put a lever in the cab to power the light manually, then go ahead and start running some redstone down the, uh, the boiler, as I will show you here, like this, alright. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue making the boiler. Uh, we'll measure this by the... But when we put the wheels down, we'll know how long it should be. Alright, this is redstone, just so you know. And this, is, this isn't for looks, this is just mainly to power the light. Alright, so now we're going to put the um, cylinders on the train. Uh, I forgot if I... Okay, yeah, that's how I put it. Alright, then you get yourself some gray stained clay, put two like that, and then do your cylinder on the other side, um, if I can get across, alright, oh, not there, right here, and then we'll, we'll be using gray stained clay for all the wheels, so just put four wheels like this, alright, and then put another cylinder, because this is an articulated locomotive and you have many cylinders in fact uh, six of them or three pair three pairs of cylinders on this engine all right so now just repeat down to the side all right make sure to put your cylinder there and just put a couple more this and that's all the wheels on the boiler so now we can just lay down the blue cloth or blue wool is what I'm using for the boiler all right so it'll stop right there I'm looking on the uh, one that I built before that's when it'll stop all right let's just make it the same way same way you did with that one over there, the gray one. It's just going to be a hollow tube running uh, along the train. And then place your redstone if you want to put a lever so you can turn the light on and off in the front. Alright, now just fill it in with a blue, light blue wool. Alright, let's go there, do this. Alright, 
Alright, so we're done with that. Uh, now we're going to want to actually make these the front uh, wheels not just floating there. So we're going to take a couple stone slabs, uh, we'll put three, and then put an anvil there. So it's like, that's where it swings and stuff on the anvil. Alright, so now then put a redstone redstone torch right here so you can power that piston actually you might be able to bud power it with that hold on let me go ahead and do that I don't, I don't know if that did it okay never mind so we can't do that never mind ignore what I said alright so we got that now place two buttons on the wheels like this and this and now we got the front wheels complete let me see if I missed anything nope okay now we're gonna do the light and you're gonna use a stone slab right here with a redstone lamp why is that powered oh yeah that's right okay hold on let me just change okay if you want to turn on the if you want to turn on the light with like an on and off switch then use a redstone block here to, uh, to power the piston for the coupler so maybe you can put it under so it looks better yeah put it right there put the redstone block right there so it looks better maybe not maybe sorry this just, just looks really bad <laughs> oh dang it now when you replace the stair down there Hold on. I'm sorry. Oops. Alright. Just redo everything. Like that. OCD. Okay, then I'll place a block of redstone there. Don't worry. You can barely see it. And then, now to finish off the light, you're going to want to place some black carpet on top and some signs for the number so I'll make this one 1501 uh, I'm pretty sure that's an actual triplex that was made the one I made there was 700 I don't know if 700 was in blue or black but whatever you can choose whichever number you want if you want it to be real or if you don't want it to be real or you don't really care or anything okay now put the okay so that's the smokestack right there just put it right there two blocks away from the front and then place your stone slabs as your rods, that's what I like to call them, or pistons, I don't really know the actual term for it, but I call them rods. Right here, so right there, like that. And then just put them on the other set of wheels. Don't put them on this last block because that's not how they're supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me set the time today. That guys can see. Alright, so just trying to do that. Oops, not like that. That. Alright, so you got that down. Now we're going to fill in this part over here with um, gray stained clay like this. So you can't see through the whole bottom of the train. Because if you can, then it just looks really bad. So you can see it from the side. You can't see through it that well. And it looks like the wheels are actually connected to something. Alright. Now we're going to make the cab. So get some black stained clay. Place it like this. Four blocks long. Three blocks high. And make it like a rectangle. And then do it again on the other side. Then place glass in the middle of the rectangle like this and now we're going to put where all the gauges will be and the lever for your light switch like that now put a lever because or so you can turn on the light let me see uh let me see that for right there so you can turn it on and off this is the light switch Okay, now just put some random 
thingies in here, like a stone brick fence, or stone fence, cobblestone fence, cobblestone wall, and like this for like a whistle cord or something. And that's the, that's where all the gauges are. Oh yes, also place a furnace for the, for the firebox. Now, oops, shift. Now fill in the floor. Then put some court stairs in the floor as seats. I know they're not really going to look like it. Maybe quartz block. I don't know. Maybe that looks better. Maybe you can make it like a bench. Like that, maybe. I don't know. It's your choice. So now we got that done, just go ahead and continue it uh, through here, like this. Continue the stone bricks, uh, stone slabs. And now put an, your uh, third set of pistons, or third set of cylinders, sorry, right here. Put a ladder so you can get up, like that. So it looks like that. And now let's go ahead and finish it off. Well, we'll finish off the wheels. We need to detail the engine though. Alright, just put the wheel like that. And then one more. Alright, you can go ahead and fill these in. Just like this. Alright. Okay, so now we need to go detail the engine. So for the running boards, you're going to put some concrete, or stone slabs, and then after the fourth one that you put down, put a stone, stone brick stair, so it looks really cool and realistic, and then continue it, continue the stone brick slabs until you get to here. At this point, you want to raise it up one, and then once you get to... Uh, two blocks from the cab and just lower it down one. And then you can go ahead and delete all these blocks here. I think that many. And place some light gray stained clay. Actually one more. No, let's put it to right here. There. Oops. There. Put it like that. then do the same on the other side with that. So it should be five blocks of light gray stained clay coming from the cab and that's as, that acts as the part. I don't know really what it's called, it's kind of like in the back of the boiler and then there's like a ton of rivets on it and uh, I really don't know what it's called but if you do then go ahead and comment down below so I can know and I can call it that. Alright, now let's repeat what we did on the other side, on this side. Just place in your st concrete slabs, or stone brick slabs, and stone brick stairs like this. Okay, and now you can put some thingies on the, on this part. Just put random thingies random things that just hang off, it doesn't really matter. And yep, yeah, that's the boiler without the domes on it. Okay, now we're going to put the sand dome, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the sand dome, but... Okay, and then the bell. Is it three blocks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, three blocks between... Three blocks between this and the bell. And then put another three blocks away, put another dome, and then two blocks away, put another dome, and then you're going to attach the whistle to this, which is going to be a fence, yep, right there, and then put another dome three blocks away, one, two, three, dome, finally finish it off with another three, and this is where the cab is going to be, or the roof of the cab is going to be. Alright, so now place some concrete or stone brick stairs on the cab. And then 
and place some black carpet on the top of all the domes and the top of the cab. Place it on top. Not on top of the bell. Just like that. Alright. So now we're we can just go ahead and put some string along the boiler and this X is like the handrail that you see. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a handrail. I don't really know, but there's some piping through the steam engines uh on the side of the boiler and this acts as that. So just go ahead and place your string along the boiler like this. So it looks like that. I, you can barely see it, but it's it's small details that count. Alright. So now I'm pretty sure we're done with the boiler. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure we're done. So now it's on to the tender. But first we gotta just put the carpet there so you get the little so you get the cab roof like coming off like, extruding from the actual cab wall you know I don't really know how to explain it but yeah it's, it's that now we're gonna work on the tender we're almost done okay so make it five blocks wide just like the cab and then extend it all the way um, okay, let's just use these as a marker. These are going to be the back wheels. Send it all the way until you're one block past that. And then wrap it around. Like that. And then finish it off like that. And that's that's what your tender that's how long your tender is going to be. Alright, so now just start filling it in, make some walls. Rain. And let's just set it to that. Oh my gosh. Okay, now just keep filling it in. I don't know if you guys can hear the lawnmower outside. But yep, that's what that weird noise is. Alright, then make the top of the tender that's going to hold the coal. So it's going to be see let me count it's gonna be one two three four five six seven blocks long let me just check if that's right yep that's right okay now get some blocks of coal and just um, you're gonna like break that open because that's gonna be a decoration and then just put them along here so you can have coal which is always a good thing for steam engines. You can just make it different, look weird and stuff. Put some random blocks on top. So it's like the coals on top there. Now you can place some coal in here and make a like where the fireman would shovel the coal from the tender. This is basically what that is, over here. See, that's like the little opening where all the coal comes out. And then the fireman will shovel it. Alright, now, you can go ahead and put your eerie sign. I don't know if it says eerie or the number, because I know on the 700 it says 700 on it, but on others it says eerie on the tender. Oh yeah, also, um, a sign. I'm just gonna, since it's two blocks, I'm just gonna put eerie, eerie. Oh my gosh, eerie. Five thousand fifteen. Wait, is that the number? Oh, fifteen oh one. Oops. <laughs> okay, fifteen oh one. Fifteen oh one, sorry. And then repeat it on the other side. Eerie. 
and to everybody that says, oh, it doesn't say Eerie on the side of the cab, this isn't because it actually says Eerie on the side of the cab in real life, it's just because I need to take up space. Alright, so, now we got that, I'll go ahead and put the rods on the tender, you can put them any way you want, like, up, like on this level or this level, put it on the other side, now you're going to want to place your button here for the back wheels because it is a 28882 and then do the same thing that you did with the front trucks you're going to want front wheels front set of wheels you're just going to want to put the anvil there and three blocks all right now just put a redstone block there so you can power the piston the coupler like that okay and now place some stone brick slabs like this put the stairs just like that you're almost done you're almost done go ahead and fill in the top of the tender like this with black sand clay and just put some um, kind of like doors on the top where they put in the water. And I think this is the last step. Go ahead and put the smokestack that is on the tender. Just like that. Because it needs one on the tender. Also, don't forget the lettering on the side. this and I think we are done if I missed anything just go ahead and comment down below uh, also leave suggestions in the comment section that really helps out me helps out the channel and yeah so if you enjoyed this and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe and thanks for watching uh, this is the challenger and see you next time